really happy that I come across that way where people think I'm stable. Um, and I am stable. I am, oh my gosh, I'm a mess. No, I'm not a mess. I'm good. What's up my BBs? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, it feels so good to say that. I haven't said that in so long. It also kind of feels weird. Wow. Hi guys. Wow, my hair really is kind of ombre from like having it grow out and stuff. Today's video is going to be like a life update because it's been like 30 years since I've posted and I haven't been too active on Instagram. And so I just wanted to do a little life update and then I'm getting my hair chopped today. Probably like here-ish because I have so much damage from bleach. My mom would always tell me, you bleach your hair, your hair's gonna fall out. And I'm like, no it won't. And then I bleached my hair and it fell out. You can see here, it's like short. Same here. I have some like little hairs here. It's just like so many different lengths and it's, I've used hair masks, I've used Olaplex. I've tried everything, it's still, kind of dead. I feel like people in the comments are gonna be like, you should try this, 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 and this. Thing is, I tried Olaplex. That's like what everyone recommends. Olaplex number three. And then I have also used the shampoo and conditioner Olaplex. I've used Living Proof Hair Mask. Um, and so like, it feels nice. It's just the ends and the length is just not good. But anyway, first I'm going to do a life update, like I said. So, I am fully vaccinated for COVID. I've gotten both doses. I've gone through the time it's I'm good I still wear a mask when needed or when I'm around too many people you know the biggest thing of all probably is that I have a job now um, I'm not gonna give anything too specific but I'm a receptionist administrative assistant at a law firm and I answer phones I scan things I I just basically I transfer calls and I help like I reorder supplies I'll do a bunch of like little administrative things and I love it. The people are amazing. I love it so much. And oh, there's a person. I don't like people watching me film. Hello. Goodbye. So yeah, and that's, it's, I call it my big girl job because I work 40 hours a week, a little more than that actually. I work eight to five every day, um, Monday through Friday. It's exhausting, honestly. And I know like people are gonna say, well, you know what, you're an adult, like you're gonna have to do this. Like, well, don't complain. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, it's a lot for me to go from going to sleep at 2, 3 a.m. and waking up at noon to literally, I go to sleep at 8.30, 9 o'clock and I wake up around 6.30. Like, I wish I went to sleep at that time in high school. So that's why I've been super busy. That's one of the many reasons why I haven't been very active. So my car's not even on, I'm just resting my hand. But for the past year, I have pretty much done nothing because my parents are on the older side and my dad has some breathing problems. They're both high risk I wouldn't, and I live with them. I don't wanna risk anything. So if I did go out, it would be very quick. I would do like a drive through somewhere. I hadn't gone to any stores. I hadn't gotten my nails done. Um, wow, third world problems. And if I did, yeah, I would wear a mask, drive through very quick, sanitize everything, like wash my hands, wipe everything down. It's been very, clean I guess so yeah I haven't really done anything I pretty much just laid in bed all day I've binge watched every show possible not really it was fun for a while and then it's just like my back would hurt every once in a while from like the position I would lay in bed every day and it just wasn't healthy and so I'm graduating from school in December with a major in psychology and a minor in digital audiences and it's been great uh, let's see in June June 1st I will be two years sober Allie and editing, cue the, the cheers or the, I don't know, do something cool with like balloons or whatever. It's, it's exciting, it's crazy. I've said this in an Instagram post and a Twitter post. Two years ago, I was smoking my days away because I was heartbroken and miserable all the time, having panic attacks all the time. Uh, I was barely going to class. I was a mess and I was getting sick from CHS. I was a mess. I there's no way I could have seen a future for myself being successful or being happy. I was so focused on smoking and staying high that nothing else mattered. And two years later, I'm working full time. I'm graduating in December, almost two years sober. And my mental health is the best it's been in I don't know how long. I've got a good dose of medication. I 
still have my moments though where I get really emotional about things or I get really worried that someone doesn't like me anymore, or someone hates me, or like I have that sometimes with my coworkers. Like something will happen and I'm like, oh my gosh, do they hate me now? What am I gonna do? It's funny because one of the things, I don't know if any of my coworkers are gonna watch this, I kinda hope they don't. One of the things that they said to me at the very beginning, one of the managers and the person who hired me, they were saying that they thought I was really good for the job and they th thought that I could really emotionally handle it. And I wanted to be like, I'm glad I put that that vibe across, but <laughs> I'll try. That was kind of good that like I'm really happy that I come across that way where people think I'm stable. Um, and I am stable. I am st oh my gosh, I'm a mess. No, I'm not a mess. I'm good. <laughs> uh, so like my weeks, I basically I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I eat, I shower, I go to bed. That's Monday through Friday for me. I really don't do much of anything anymore and then the weekends I'll rest and lay in bed I'm uh, planning on hanging out with Allie Hardesty sometime next month I'm hoping to go up and see Lexi soon this hair is really bothering me just like the way it's going like this like what are you doing but yeah I just wanted to give that little update where I am now like why I haven't been so active I still I'm not doing I guess influencing but I still I love my followers I love the people who support me and they mean the world to me, you guys mean the world to me, so I really appreciate everyone who's stuck around these this past two years. It's crazy, I didn't realize I've been doing this for so long. It's, it's amazing, I love you guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get my hair chopped off, and I guess that's not clickbait because I kind of am getting it chopped off. So one doing my hair, I'll see if she's comfortable with me tagging her. Her name's Allie, also, Allie Squared, and yeah. What bam I have never gotten my hair this short and loved it so much. I'm so happy with it. Shout out to Allie for doing my hair. I'll put her links in the description. Yeah, so it's a cute little short. I love it. It's so cute. And it's so much healthier than it was. Oh my gosh, my hair was so dead before. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.